Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Educator's Pride, myself Dr. Savita Katri. In my videos, I will teach all the life sciences topics, which will be helpful for various exams like CSIR Net Life Sciences, Gate Life Sciences and ICR Net. These videos will also be useful for MSc and BSc students. So in this video, I will discuss about plasma membrane, which comes under the unit cell biology. So let's start with it. So, what is the basic structure and composition of plasma membrane and how it acts? Plasma membrane is a fluid dynamic structure which forms the external boundary of cells. So, it is the outermost layer of cell. It acts as a selectively permeable membrane which regulates the molecular transport across the boundary. That means, it only passes selective size of molecules through it and restrict the movement of other molecules. Various models were proposed for plasma membrane structure but fluid mosaic model is the most accepted model for plasma membrane. In 1972, Singer and Nicholson proposed fluid mosaic model in which proteins are inserted into lipid bilayer. This model describes both the mosaic arrangement of proteins as well as the fluid movements of lipids and proteins. Fridge fracture technique is the major technique which is used to visualize the distribution of proteins in membranes. Now, what are the major composition of plasma membrane? All plasma membranes contain proteins as well as lipids. The ratio of protein to lipid varies from cell to cell. For example, the plasma membrane of human RBC contains 43% lipid and 49% protein by weight. Carbohydrates are also present in plasma membrane but in very small ratio that is up to 5-10% to of membrane mass. Carbohydrates bound either to proteins or to lipids as glycoproteins and glycolipids. They are abundant in plasma membrane of eukaryotic cells. The term cell coat or glycocalyx is used to describe the carbohydrate coating on the cell surface. The basic structure of plasma membrane is the phospholipid bilayer. It is composed of two leaflets of phospholipids. Phospholipids are amphipathic molecules whose polar head are in contact with the intra or extracellular aqueous phase, whereas their non polar tails face each other, forming the hydrophobic interior, as shown in the figure. What are the major forces present in phospholipid bilayer? Hydrophobic effect and van der Waal interactions between the fatty acyl tails are the major forces which organize lipid bilayer. How many types of phospholipids are present in plasma membrane? Mainly two types of phospholipids are present in plasma membrane. First, glycerophospholipids, in which two fatty acids are joined to glycerol. Second, sphingophospholipids, in which a single fatty acid is attached to sphingosine. Glycerophospholipids are the most abundant class of lipids in most membranes. However, the plasma membrane of animal cells contain four major phospholipids that are phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylethanolamine and sphingomyelin. In addition to phospholipids, the plasma membranes also contain glycolipids and sterol. Glycolipids are mostly found in outer leaflet of the plasma membrane with their carbohydrate portions exposed on the cell surface. They contain sugar residues covalently attached to the lipid. They are also amphipathic molecules whose polar head groups are sugars. These can derive from either glycerolipids or sphingolipids. For example, cerebroside as simplest glycolipid and gangliosides as more complex glycolipids. In addition to glycolipids, sterols are also present in plasma membrane. Cholesterol is the major sterol present in plasma membrane of animal cells. Whereas, Plant cells lack cholesterol, but they contain stigma sterol. Lipids are not present randomly in each leaflet of a bilayer. Particularly, cholesterol and sphingolipids are organized into aggregates called as lipid rafts. There are various functions associated with lipid rafts, such as signal transduction, endocytosis, and cholesterol trafficking. Next is asymmetry of lipid bilayer. That is, phospholipids in plasma membrane are present asymmetrically across the bilayer. For example, in human erythrocyte, phospholipids such as sphingomyelin and phosphatidylcholine are mostly found in the extracytoplasmic leaflet, whereas phosphatidylserine and phosphatidylethanolamine are present on the cytoplasmic phase. Next is motion of lipid molecules. Lipid molecules can rotate freely around their axis and diffuse laterally within each leaflet of bilayer. Flipase and flopase proteins are responsible for lipid transport across the membrane. Flipase and flopase show ATP dependent activity. In this, flipases transport lipids from the outer layer to the cytoplasmic surface. 
and flopase is transport in the opposite direction. The flip flop rates are also dependent on phospholipid acyl chain length and degree of unsaturation. The little movement of specific plasma membrane proteins and lipids can be quantified by a technique called fluorescence recovery after photobleaching, also called as FRAP. Next is fluidity of lipid bilayer. The fluidity of lipid bilayer depends on chain length and degree of unsaturation that is described as the increased proportion of unsaturated to saturated fatty acids in the membrane increases the fluidity of bilayer at the reduced temperature. Cholesterol is also a major determinant of membrane fluidity. Now, the membrane proteins. So, previous was all about the lipids present in plasma membrane. Now, all the membrane proteins present in plasma membrane. They are basically of three types, peripheral proteins or extrinsic proteins, integral membrane proteins or intrinsic proteins, and third is lipid anchored membrane proteins. Peripheral membrane proteins do not interact with the hydrophobic core of the phospholipid bilayer, for example, spectrin and enchirin. They are very common example of peripheral proteins present in membrane of RBCs. These proteins help to determine the shape and flexibility of the RBC. However, integral membrane proteins have one or more segments that are embedded in the phospholipid bilayer. These proteins may be transmembrane proteins or lipid linked proteins. The transmembrane proteins may be single pass or multi pass proteins. For example, glycophorin is an example of single pass transmembrane protein of RBC, and band 3 protein or chloride bicarbonate exchanger is a multi pass protein present on the plasma membrane of RBC. Transmembrane proteins are characterized by transmembrane alpha helixes. Third is lipid anchored membrane proteins. They are bound covalently to one or more lipid molecules. Now, the functions of membrane proteins. These proteins play several cell functions. Some major functions are listed below. First, transport. Membrane proteins transport substances across the plasma membrane actively or passively. Second, enzymatic activity. A protein may act as an enzyme which carries out sequential steps of a metabolic pathway. Third, in signal transduction. A membrane protein may act as a receptor for a chemical messenger which helps in cell signaling. Fourth, in cell to cell recognition. For example, some glycoproteins act as identification tags that helps in cell to cell recognition. Fifth, intercellular joining. Membrane proteins of adjacent cells form junctions such as gap junctions or tight junctions. Sixth, attachment to cytoskeleton and extracellular matrix. The microfilaments of cytoskeleton may be bound to membrane protein to maintain the cell shape. Proteins that can bind to extracellular matrix helps in coordination between extracellular and intracellular changes. So, this is all about the structure and function of plasma membrane. I hope that all the basic concepts about plasma membrane is clear. If you find my videos helpful, then please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more such videos. If you want handwritten notes of this topic, then write in the comment section. Thank you.